From Kirsch Gift It's the Tom Mikey Show. Shut your goddamn mouth. I'm trying to listen to Tom Mikey. Bitch! And now, and now, here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that ain't. Hosted by a right wing wacker or a convicted felon? No! I am your host. I doubt our telephone number, you're gonna need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 8 Six, six. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And um, I'm just blown away by this story. How many pussies are out there? How many? I'm always blown away. This is going to sound like a hockey story, but it's not. So you don't have to die for the dial. I'm the biggest hockey fan in the world, but I... I also know we're a select group. This has nothing to do with hockey, really. But hockey is the jumping off point. Canucks! This is the Vancouver Canucks. It's a hockey team in the National Hockey League. Founded 1975. Vancouver Canucks goalie, Roberto Luongo has said he's going to, get this, skip the NHL All-Star Game in Atlanta. Now you're thinking to yourself, well, there's probably a lot of All-Stars, right? Well, wait a minute. Luongo was voted in by fans as the starting goalie on the Western Conference of the NHL. Starting goalie. He got the most votes. They do voting just like baseball, just like basketball. You vote on the all-star teams. NHL does it the exact same way. You vote. They count the votes. The fans decide who plays. The fans picked Roberto Luongo. Look him up. They picked him to be the starting goaltender for the Western Conference, the all-star game. Now, why is he skipping the All-Star game? Is he a lazy slug? Hardly. One of the hardest working guys out there. Does he not care about his job? Well, not as far as I can tell. He's good. Good at what he does. No, no. Here's why Roberto Luongo is going to skip the All-Star game. Because he wants to spend time with his pregnant wife, Gina, at their off-season home in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Now you're saying to yourself, well, that's good. She's having a baby. He should be there in the delivery room, right? He should be there when the baby is born. He should be there to see that. No all-star game is more important than being in the delivery room. If Roberto Luongo's wife is having a baby, he should be there for the birth of that baby. That's what you're saying, right? You're saying this is a good decision. This is right. This is family. Your child is being born and you need to be there. Only one problem. The All-Star Game is scheduled for January 27th. January 27th, it's two weeks from this weekend. When is Roberto Luongo's baby due? April. (laughs) 
Now, excuse me. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Why don't you take time off in April? But this is the all-star game. The fans voted you, you pussy. The fans voted you to be the starting goaltender. You're going to take time off to be with your wife who is barely six months, if she is six months pregnant. The birth of this baby is not imminent. You should be at the All-Star. I'll tell you something else, six months pregnant. She ought to be there. By the way, you live in Fort Lauderdale. The game's being played in Atlanta. What's that, an hour flight? Is she that fragile? She can't get on the plane? You know, I'm sure Delta has 7,000 flights a day from Fort Lauderdale to Atlanta. She can't go to Atlanta and go see you play? Oh, no. She's got the vapors. He's got to go there to be with her at Fort Lauderdale. Now, my first reaction to this is, I think this guy just wants three days off in Fort Lauderdale. Because, come on, you can't be that much of a pussy. You can't be that much of a pussy. Now, I would understand, honestly, if your baby's being born on the day of the All-Star game, I understand taking that day off. Okay, I'll buy in. The baby is not due until April. April. Is that insane? By the way, says here, Luongo also received permission from Vancouver to miss the team's first game after the All-Star break. January 29th at home against Dallas. I'd love them to finish out of the playoff by one game. You know, two points out or one point out. I'd love to see that happen. People in Vancouver will have his head. Are you kidding me? Yes. After that game on January 29th that he's been given permission to miss, the Canucks then travel to Florida. How convenient. Where Luongo will join up with the club for games January 31st at Tampa Bay and February 1st at Florida. At Florida. You know, it's like the Golden State Warriors. The team in Florida actually plays in Sunrise, Florida, which is like a suburb of Fort Lauderdale. How convenient convenient as that. Of course, he used to play for the Florida Panthers himself. That's why he lives in Fort Lauderdale. Luongo got 263,221 votes, the most among Western Conference goalies, way ahead of the 180,381 gathered by Pascal Leclerc of the Columbus Blue Jackets. That's not a Civil War group, by the way. That's also a hockey team. Unless you're a Civil War freak. It's had nothing to do with the Civil War. That's a that's a hockey team. So uh, don't you think the guy's a pussy? Come on. Roberto Luongo is skipping the All-Star game and then taking another game off to be with his pregnant wife who's not having the baby for another three months? You're kidding me, right? Likus. Tom Likus. You're just looking for sex. Of course. You must be a new listener. You must be kidding. You think that's what makes people happy? That's what, I'll tell you what, that's what makes men happy. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. I don't care if you're a hockey fan or not. Pick your favorite sport. Imagine the scenario. So the player gets the most votes for a particular position. In your team's all-star game, your league's all-star game, your favorite sports all-star game, he says, I'm not going to come because of my pregnant wife. I'm going to skip the game. She's not even about to have the baby. What the hell is going on here? Doesn't make sense to you? Roberto Luongo is a hockey player, plays in the NHL for the Vancouver Canucks, He's the leading goal, uh, sorry, the leading goaltender uh, in terms of uh, not only most of the statistics in the league. He got the most votes among any goaltender uh, to be the uh, starting goaltender in the All Star game. He said, "Nah, you know what? I'm going home. Going home to be with my pregnant wife." 
Steve on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, so uh, this guy's absolutely insane. I mean, how many times in a career does a does an opportunity like this arise for him? It may never happen again. It, it may never happen again. Absolutely insane. The only thing I can say about it is that, uh, that you know, is there something, you, are you sure that we're getting the whole story? Is there any possibility that she has some weird pregnancy going on? Doesn't say that. Yeah. All right. Well, then he's absolutely insane. The most, uh, you know, that, that's just, you take it a few days. And if that's the case, I mean, why is he rejoining the team? Why does he just stay away? Well, I mean, you, you know, you have a contract and stuff. No, 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 but wait a minute. If if you have a family issue, you ask for permission to go now. You don't wait until a couple of weeks from now. Right, right. Well, I'm a big hockey fan, and I cannot imagine a hockey player, maybe some pansy baseball player or something, but a hockey player? Uh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What kind of pussy says, you know what, I'm going to skip the All-Star game to go with me, be with my wife? Oh, no. Oh, no. That that is not a hockey player. You just you just got demoted in my eyes. I'm a big hockey fan, and I'm like, what? Meow. And, and just want to slap in the face to the fans. I know. About how about all the people who voted for? In, incredible. Hey, Tom, blow me up. Here you go, baby. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. George, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Do you care, George? Absolutely. I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller. I love that. Yeah, um, I wanted to comment on uh, Roberto here, not uh, wanting to go and play uh, at the All-Star break. And uh, it seems to me that uh, all your life, if hockey was your thing, and, or your sport, you work so hard to get there, uh, you're there now, and you have the chance to play amongst the greatest players in the league. And isn't that a dream of yours to, you know, to be amongst the greatest players? You would think. You would think. But another thing I don't understand is, is uh, like the last caller said, I mean, uh, she must not be having a difficult pregnancy, but it, it, it's it's amazing. It's just amazing to me uh, in whatever sport, not just hockey, but uh, you have this great opportunity. You have this talent and to play against the greatest, and you're not. Don't make any sense to me. All right. Well, thanks a lot for taking my call, Tom. Uh, can you take me out uh, Kobe style and uh, uh, gangster style? That's what we got here for you, George. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's 1 800. Whoa! Forgot about gangsters. Yes. Yeah, I know. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Roberto Luongo, a hockey player. He's a goaltender for the Vancouver Canucks. He's been voted the starting goaltender for the Western Conference of the NHL. But he says he's skipping the All Star game to go home and be with his pregnant wife, who's not having a baby for another three months. Rihanna on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. How are you doing? Great. Fabulous. First of all, the Vancouver Canucks were started in 1970, not 1975. I thought it was 75. Nope, 1970. Very good. Very good. Um, also, um, they've got three games going in five days where he, if he does go to the All-Star game, he's got to fly out to Atlanta, and then he's got to turn around, come back to Vancouver for the next game versus Dallas, and then turn around on a plane and fly back out to Florida. So you got to think of time zones. He's going to be totally bagged out. I mean, well, what about all the other players who have all that flying to do? Well, true. Yes, I mean honestly, I would like to see him at the. I mean, he's not the backup goaltender. He's not uh, the the twentieth man on the team. He was voted a starting goaltender. This is an honor. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, had I voted, I probably would have voted for him too. But uh, your vote would have been wasted. Of all the guys on our team that if it was deserving for a break, he is the one guy that would deserve to have a couple of days off. I mean, he, the guy stands on his head every bloody night. But if he's going to take time off and it's such an emergency, why doesn't he take the time off now? 
Oh, I agree. I agree. And he, he should go in the All-Star game. But uh, like I said, I mean, three flights and in a couple of days, I mean, would you want... Guess to- what? That's what it is to be a player in the National Hockey League. They've got teams from Vancouver to Miami. This is true. I know. I just I hate hearing people to rip a strip off Luongo. He's my guy. <laughs> uh, what can I say? He's a pussy. Yeah, well... Okay. And using his girlfriend as the excuse, his wife. I know. That I mean, that, that's not what was reported here as reading the paper this morning, and he was saying it was more of a logistics thing. That's what we're claiming up here anyhow. <laughs> Thank you, Rhiannon. You're welcome. Take me up with a bong hit, could you? Here you go, Rhiannon. Thanks, Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Robert on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, this is Robert, man. I just I just think that you're so correct about that, that all-star game, dude. You know, like, I like basketball, and if Shaq was, you know, to miss the NBA playoffs, dude, that would be the most dumbest thing in the world. You know, if you have people voting for you, actually out there coming to get, you know, actually out there coming to see you, and you're going to miss because of some woman that's not even – and they have her baby for like, what'd you say, four months? Down till April. That's the most crappiest thing I've ever heard in my life, dude. I think you are so correct. I've been listening to you for like so long, man. I swear, I like, I have, man, dude, I listen to you and I go by your rules. Like, I like the Tom's 101. Love that. Man, I love it, dude. I'm 17. I'm 18. I don't know why it's 17. I'm in mean, California, man. My dad tells me the same stuff. I'm telling you, he tells me the exact same stuff. Man, my friends came over and they told me, listen to Tom Likas. Tom Likas is the man. Love that, Robert. Thank you so much. Take me out gangster style, Tom. Here you go, Robert. Bitch. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. JC on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Father. How are you? Doing great, son. Hey, I just want to comment about this guy. I mean, I'm not a hockey uh, fan, but come on. You get a break when you get a break. This guy is getting paid so much money. Uh, and then he's asking for days off just because his wife is having a baby. You're right. Why can't just he fly or she fly to the hospital? If I had then, voted for him, I'd never vote for him again. Yeah, and then plus this lady say, no, he needs the time off and that, and that. He's getting all this money for what he does. And then first, he's a pussy, and the guys that gave him the days off are pussies for letting him go after paying him so much money for what? for staying home with his wife. Oh, yeah. And I think he might be, he's one of the highest paid goaltenders in hockey. You see what I'm saying? It's like, it's like you, uh, you know, next, next, uh, next, in the next nine months, I'm going to have a baby with somebody, which is never going to happen for sure. And then, oh, I need time off. You're getting paid seven figure money. And then they ain't going to say no, because first your responsibility is to be there. That's why you get all this money. And then, you will be a pussy for asking for and they will be a pussy for giving you the time. No doubt about it, JC. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Jack on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. This is Jack, fellow King Senior. How you doing, brother? Doing great. I uh, actually wanted to talk about this Luongo situation. I'm not a big fan of the guy to begin with. Uh, I don't know if you followed uh, a while back when they were discussing your nets. He said he'll retire as if he was the only one that had to deal with that. So I yeah. think he's a prima donna to begin with. But, um, you know, I think the league should step in here somehow, some sort of uh, form of punishment, because especially after the lockout year when they're trying to appeal to the fans and trying to get a bigger fan base going on, uh, you know, for him to pull something like this is, uh, like you said, first of all, it's not even that important. I think it's just a lousy excuse to take some time off. And, yeah. Well, uh, the, the, the the league is never going to do anything because, like every sports league, uh, you have a players' union, and the players are not required to play in the All Star game, and it's not in their contract, and uh, so the uh, union would defend him. Well, no, I know, I know, and um, I, I'm fully aware of that. I just think that uh, in this situation in the NHL, when they're you know, uh, I know you're a diehard Kings fan, as myself. Uh, something like this wouldn't affect us as far as following hockey. But the average fan, it doesn't take much for them to stop you know, and lose interest. And that's completely going against what the league is trying to do as far as the PR and the marketing right now. And, um, you know, I think they should be done. Uh, I don't know, and, you know, it can't, it can't be fine, it can't be a suspension, but uh, I don't think it should just be let go like that because it's a slap in the face to the fans, um, you know, for who voted for them especially. 
And it just I think it's a step back for the NHL. Well, the fans should never vote for this guy again. Never. Pussy. Definitely. Total Definitely. pussy. Definitely. And I think, you know, um, you know, I just think that so I, I agree with you. That there's nothing they can do, but something should be done. Uh, a statement should be made, something. Um, but, you know, it goes totally against what the NHL is trying to do right now. And uh, we, you know, we don't, yeah, no doubt about his talent. Great goalie, but it's not good for the game, especially in a situation in a time like this. Absolutely not. Layla on the Tom Likas show. Hi. Well, awesome being able to talk to you. Let me just give you my two cents. I'm not a big hockey fan, but you know what? Giving you an outsider's perspective, first off, I have to say this guy is a moron. He has no respect for the fans, obviously, the people that are paying for him to be there. If it wasn't for the fans. The publicity wouldn't be there, and obviously he wouldn't be a professional player. Now his wife, she's just being a selfish bitch, pretty much. I mean, she's just looking at it like, okay, I'm pregnant and I need attention. You've been, a, you know, you've been gone away for so long, blah blah blah. But the reality is, you know what? He's making money. She's enjoying that money, and as a public figure he has you know the responsibility to go and please the fans fans at times and especially if they picked him to be the main goalie he has a responsibility i hope the fans don't vote for him again i'll tell you what if the guy's not going to show up for the all-star game why waste your vote exactly exactly and you know what if if he wants to go and spend time with the family, like like you said, I definitely agree. You know, if the lady's having the kid, okay. But if she's having an emotional breakdown, which I'm sure she's having, you know, she has to look at it from the big picture and not just about herself and himself. That's my opinion. Layla, thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Tyrone on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Great. Tom call it. Thank you. All right. I just have one opinion. That's, this man, this is a grown man we are sitting here talking about. Everybody is entitled to their own decision. So what you're trying to tell me is that he can't take his time away from his job and go and be with his wife and his child? Well, he can, but I have a right to an opinion, and my opinion is that the guy's a pussy. His wife's not having that baby for another three months. Okay, what if he just likes the company of his family? I mean, you can't, well, you can't sit here and tell the man that he can't be with his family. You know, you, your career, in, in especially when you're an athlete, it's limited. Your, your career is limited. you got like a certain number of years, a little window of opportunity, and that's it. At 35 years old, this guy will be done with his career. There'll be no more career. That These are rare and golden opportunities. You don't give that up. Well, you know what? If they voted him to be the number one starting goaltender, usually you don't lose that type of ability in one year. Usually that type of ability sticks. I'm not saying he's going to lose the ability, but why would anyone vote for him the next time? Well, that would be hockey fans for you. If you notice, basketball, MLB, football, they do not dodge all-star games like this. Actually, but baseball, they do dodge all-star games. Uh, NBA, uh, you're right. Most of them don't. But yeah, uh, yeah, football they don't. This is, I mean, this. Oh, uh, football they get to go to Hawaii. I don't know who wants to go to Atlanta for a weekend, but uh, in football you get to go to Hawaii. Well, yeah, that's another thing too about baseballs. They hold it in a different city all the time too. But back on the subject of hockey, is that you know you really can't sit here and tell these people that you know you can't go be with their family because their families. Have oh, no one's family. saying no one's saying they should be told. I, I'm not saying that the league should step in and say you have to play. Uh, there's no rule that says he has to play. But uh, but why would any fan? Why would any fan vote for the guy again if he says uh, you know I'm too uh, too busy with my personal life to be bothered with taking the honor you gave me? You know what? Why did they vote him then? Why did they they thought he was go. They thought he was going to the game. By the way, if he didn't intend to go to the game, why didn't he say this in the first place so that people didn't waste their vote on him? Hey, he's playing for his team. He's doing the best he can do. He's not going to step out and just say, hey, you know, don't vote for me like that because my family's going through this. It's not something you think about while you're playing. You're playing to play the so game. So why is he thinking about it now? 
Well, now, it's, I mean, I guess she, if she is going through some problems with her pregnancy, it's on her. Well, we don't even know if she's going through problems. I mean, my God, she's... Well, and by the way, if she's going through problems with her pregnancy, why is he going down there now? What's he waiting well, for? Why? Okay, then. Answer me this. Why is he a pussy? If he is having problems... Because if, if, if problems, you were voted the starting goaltender, unless your girlfriend is going into... Uh, the, if she's hemorrhaging or something, uh, you go to that game. Well, we don't know if she's not hemorrhaging. If she's hemorrhaging, why is he there now? Ah, uh, yeah, you got me on that one, Tom. You damn straight I do. <laughs> Good job. Blow me up. <laughs> Here you go. Tell you what, if his wife is in trouble, he should be there now. Don't be waiting three weeks. Go now. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Father, how are we? Son, we're doing great. Wow, man, it's good to talk to you. I've always dreamed about calling in. I'll be damned. Here we are. All I got to say is, man, I don't want to cuss or nothing like that, but that's a bunch of crap going on with this guy. I mean, how do you not show up when you get voted in like that? I think that's a bunch of crap. Sounds like a woman taking a day off because she's got to pull her tampon out or something to me. <laughs> and you know they do it. Oh, I know they do it, I guess, but, man, I never heard of nothing like that. I agree with you. Oh, uh, that's good. But uh, So, I mean, is this guy going to be fired or what? No, no, you can't fire him. He's got a contract. He's not required to play in the All-Star game. Well, but that is ridiculous. I certainly wouldn't vote for the guy ever again. If I don't go to work, I don't expect to get paid. That's the way I feel about it. So he should get deducted for something here. I agree with you. But, Father, I got a joke for you. We'll put this aside. All right, what's you that? What a woman and a hurricane have in common? What? They're gone. The house and car's gone, too. You can't say that on the air. You can't. Oh, we were asking for it. <laughs> Let's do a woman in a hurricane. How it going? Don't make me go back and tell that Elton John and Barry Bonds joke again. <laughs> oh, Christ. I'm going to take one more call here <laughs> before I take this break. Uh, let's say hello here to, uh, oh, Sonny. Sonny on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom. Sonny. No way, man. Uh, it's a uh, first time, long time, man. Like it's 101 all the way, baby. Love it. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, I don't, mainly I agree with you on pretty much everything. Every single thing you say, man, it's all you. But, uh, this thing, I have to disagree, man, because, like, from from our, from his perspective, like yeah, he's like a huge you know, like athletics like I guess whatever celebrity whatnot. But like I feel that he should have some time, you know, to uh, see his wife. Yeah, but uh, what about all the other players? Well, I mean, yeah, but just like how many times is his wife really gonna have a baby? Like, this but is she's just, like, she's not she's not having a baby in January. She's having a baby in April. Okay, well, yeah, still, but how many times is she really gonna have a baby? Like all stars are annual. Like he's obviously he can he can return. It's like. You know, this, his wife can only probably have one baby in a lifetime. So what? And by the way, why do you assume that? But, but the fact is, yeah, how many times is he going to get voted as the starting goaltender on the All-Star team? It may never happen again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know. Like, I just, like, feel like like you may be a little too, like, critical on him. Like, he is, like, a good player. He's but, a pussy. You know. He's a pussy. Okay. If you get All elected right. to the All Star team, you go play. All right. All right. You're dissing yeah. all the fans who voted for you. It's true. That is true. Lady it's not fair to the guy who came in number two. How would the voting have gone if the guy said, "By the way, before the voting starts, don't vote for me. My wife is pregnant, and I'm planning on being with her. I'm not going to go to the All Star game. So, if you vote for me, I d it's a wasted vote. Why couldn't he say that? Uh, I guess I guess I guess you're right, Tom. I mean, you have you have something to say about everything. I mean, you have every angle covered. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I know you don't. Tom, 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 Tom Likas. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. 
This is my Sunday theory. It's delicious as soon as you get it. Leave it out in the sun for a few hours and see if you still want to eat it, because that's what happens to a hot chick over time, okay? It becomes a big mess, okay? It gets all over you. It's in your hair. It's a mess. It's on your clothes, and you don't know what to do about it anymore, you know? Just throw every bit away. Just don't do it. Just break. If you have a girlfriend that you feel like you love her so much, dump her. Dump her today. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show from Hollywood at 1 800 5 800 Tom. Hockey player Roberto Luongo, a goaltender for the Vancouver Canucks. Oh, yes. He uh, was elected the uh, starting goaltender for the Western Conference All Star team of the National Hockey League. But he's decided he's going to skip the All-Star game and instead go to Fort Lauderdale to be with his pregnant wife, who's not having a baby for another three months. Andrew on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. It's an honor. I know. Uh, I was just wanted to say that I totally agree with you that uh, Roberto is a big pussy because I, I pay to play hockey. I played hockey all my life. Um, I gave up an anniversary that my wife told me not to go play in a game and I said, screw that, I'm going to go play. I would give anything to play in an NHL game or even an all-star game. So what? I don't know what. What if your wife was pregnant? Uh, I think she was. Think I mean, you. She was, in, she was uh, in her first quarter two months pregnant when I did that. But uh, as a cause of that, I don't have to celebrate anniversaries anymore. So. Love that. <laughs> so that's uh, that would be my comment on that. I don't know. Uh, from a hockey player's perspective, I'm a big hockey fan. Um, I even say that the guys on my team who don't show up for games, so any, no excuse is a good excuse. I agree with you on that. I sure do. Uh, Matt, on, like people who don't show up to do radio shows, for example. On a regular basis. Uh, Matt on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Matt. I'm actually a fan of Luongo, and I couldn't believe it when I heard you call him out as a pussy. I just want to know why you think it's his obligation to actually come out to this game. Because he was elected by the fans. It's an honor. Just because he was elected doesn't mean he has to show up. He doesn't he have to, but I think that he owes it to the fans who voted for him. But then... Why would anyone vote for him again? He's not showing up to this All Star game. What makes us think that he even wants I, to play? I, if he doesn't, I, I, I'll tell you what. I vote for the All Stars. I'll never vote for him again. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the guy. I didn't vote for him either, and I won't vote for him again next year. But if he didn't play this year, why would you want to play next year? I don't care. The point is, I will never vote for it. Like, if next year his wife has had the baby and now he wants another chance to go to the All-Star game, I won't give it to him. All right, fair enough. And I'm sure a lot of uh, other voters will feel the same way. I mean, they Hope so. Voted. Hope so. Yeah, but why? I, I still don't think that it's his obligation. He's a player. He plays the sport. and The fans know. gave him an honor, and they deserve to see him play. Yeah, but... At the same time, everyone has their own, like, life to live. Well, they do. But the fact is that uh, the, those who accept the honor grace, graciously and show up are the ones who deserve to get the honors. All right. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a completely legit feeling. But I don't think this makes him a pussy. I think it kind of... I think it does. His wife's not having a baby in January or February or March. Well, I'm not sure what report you read. Like, I, I didn't think he was missing out for a baby. I, re I thought it was I'm reading it right. <laughs> it's right here on the ESPN website. Uh, I, I read a different article that he just didn't want the time issue because there's so many games crunched it's in there. Not what it says. Okay, I, I, I look at a different website on TSN, but uh, TSN is owned by ESPN. I'm looking at the ESPN.com website. There it is. Roberto Luongo wants to spend time with his pregnant wife, Gina, at their off-season home in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Says it right here. Check it out. Fair enough. Can you take me out, gang? Gangster style? Sure.
Biatch. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Jason on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tommy, how you doing, man? Doing great. Great, great, man. I wanted to make a comment on this. I'm not that big of a hockey fan. Um, I'm a Chicago one, and uh, as you know, the Blackhawks haven't really made a ramp for it for a while, and since I was a kid, I kind of fell off. But um, it's... It just seems like the guy got, has his priorities all mixed up because anybody in a position, uh, especially an athlete's position or an executive in a major uh, corporation, do you think if they had the intelligence, they would have planned it to uh, come around the time that he's not playing necessarily, right? What do you mean exactly? Uh, with that? What do you mean? Um, like if, if he had any intelligence at all as far as, uh, I don't know, if, heck, common sense. The dude would have probably planned a pregnancy around the time that he wouldn't be involved with work. Well, the fact is, uh, the hockey playoffs go into May and June, and then right. training camp begins in September. There really is a lot of uh, space to impregnate your wife and then have the baby without uh, overlapping the season somehow. That much I understand, but she's not having the baby during the All-Star game or anywhere near the All-Star game. Right, right, right. As I heard that you said that it was a few months um, uh, left in a pregnancy. But April. even then, you think he would have maybe, like, I don't know, maybe thought of this is the wrong person to have a baby with if she's going to pull this on me. Because you know darn right, and I mean, you being a man, me being a man, him being a man, that the woman is probably going to want that attention, especially him being such a, a, a sought-after athlete. I mean, he's going to have a So why doesn't she go to Atlanta? That's a good point. Well, you know what, though? And she, she's a woman, though, and we all know how women are generally. And, well, that's um, why I'm saying he's a pussy. He shouldn't be. Oh, uh, he shouldn't be uh, 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 acceding to her wishes. He should tell her, "Look, I'll see you. You come to for you come to Atlanta. It's a one hour flight from Fort Lauderdale. I'll get a nice suite. We'll have dinner. It'll be great." You do not have to say, "Well, forget the All Star Game. I'm going to be with my pregnant wife." It's outrageous, and it makes right. him look like a pussy. And she's an attention whore. I mean, that's the bottom line. Okay. So, I mean. It's probably it's probably the both, and they're probably a perfect match for each other. But if I was a hockey fan, he definitely would not get my vote. And if anything, uh, he'd be looked at a lot differently. It'd be uh, it definitely it's it's not good for hockey, man. And and as far as men in general, he's making us look like a bunch of pussies. No doubt about it. All right, Tom, can you take me out of school? Of course I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Here comes Dan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Dan. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much. Hey, you know what? Um, I played hockey for about ten years when I was younger, and that was always the biggest thing to me. And um, after the strike, I don't know what was it like three, four years ago. It was a lockout, and it was three years ago. Yeah, and after that, I know hockey lost a lot of fans. And, you know, this guy doing this, it's only going to lose more fans. And I know, like, hockey's not on, like, major TV anymore. You know, you got to go to those BS channels. And, you know, if somebody doing something like this, it doesn't really help hockey out, does it? Nope, I, I agree with you on that. Ian on the Tom Likas show, hello. What's up, Dad? Not much, son. Hey, uh, this guy, does it say anything about if he's going to lose any money? Because a lot of the guys in their contract have bonuses if they make all-star games and appear in all-star well, games. Well, no, no, no. They make money if they are selected for the all-star team. It doesn't say anything in those contracts about having to play in the game. Oh, I see, I see. And then you had a caller a little while ago talking about basketball players not going to all-star or going to the all-star games. Yeah. They ditch it all the time. Shaq was notorious for it. Plus, talk about the Olympic team. How many of the great players back out of the Olympic team? Tracy McGrady did the same thing for the basketball Olympic team because he was having issues at home, and he didn't play for the United States Olympic team. So these these guys do it all the time. They're paid too damn too much damn money to be rejecting, especially honors like this. This is an honor. From the fans. Exactly. Exactly. It's ridiculous. Outrageous. Outrageous. I need a starting goaler. Starting goalie? It's horrible. Hey. Yeah, starting goalie for the Western Conference. He won't be playing. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. That's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. It's the Tom Likas Show.